up locals? We are gonna go try some Korean food today at Mana Walk. It's this little brown building right behind me here and it's on the corner of Harry and Ellipco. Ellipco. See? Close to Pawnee and Oliver. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Directional. Are you ready? Go! go. All right, this is the first time I've ever tried kimchi in my life. So it looks, smells vinegary. It's got, I think she said it's got cabbage in here. So I do like cabbage, but here we go. First, first try. Woo! Mm-hmm. It's almost kind of got like a sauerkraut taste to it. It's really strong. Maybe you're supposed to take it in smaller bites. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to get used to this. I'll tell you straight up, I'm just gonna have to get used to it. Try one more bite. Yep, still strong. <laughs> still got a strong vinegary taste. So let me know down in the comments if you like kimchi, where you get your kimchi from. Ooh. Okay, I'm a huge fan of kimchi. And for me, there's there's two pieces that I will, one I'll eat first and then I'll eat. Um, here's the normal piece. This is not the piece I eat first. This flimsier stuff, that's the stuff. <laughs> that's the stuff I like. Great flavor. I see the tanginess Troy's talking about, but I like this stuff. It's got a little zing, just a little bit of heat. And uh, overall, one of my favorite little uh, side dishes. Okay, right now I've got a Korean egg roll, definitely fried. I believe it's made with pork. Uh, the... Yep. And I'm not a fan of sweet and sour sauce, but it's here and I'm feeling frisky today. So I'm actually gonna try some. Since Troy actually tried kimchi for the first time, I'm gonna have some sweet and sour sauce because it's been a really long time. Ooh, <laughs> man, that is tasty. Crispy, crunchy. Um, you can definitely, the meats, it is really good, but I'm going back. I'm gonna use the other side. I don't want Troy thinking I'm, I'm double dipping today. All right, Darren tried the Korean egg roll, which I'm gonna dive into that in just a minute. But I'm gonna try this one. It's just regular egg roll, but it's chicken. I do like sweet and sour on mine for sure. So here we go. That's good, it's got a good crunch to it. It's got cabbage and some shredded chicken in there. I don't see any carrots, which normally you would find in egg roll, but it's good. It's got a good crunch, and sweet and sour is what you would expect from sweet and sour sauce, so that's a good one. I wanna try this, since Darren was raving about it after he bit into it, so I'm gonna try this real quick. I like that Korean uh, triangle roll. <laughs> is it really a roll? This triangle egg roll a lot better. Uh, it had a juicier flavor. It may have been because it had pork in it and not and not chicken, but that was really good. Didn't even need sweet and sour, but if you want to add a little sweetness to it, put a little sweet and sour on there. It's delicious. Okay, so today I'm trying the the K18 chicken bulgo key dish. Um, I like a little soy sauce on my rice. And I'm not going to put any on the dish because I want to taste uh, the spiciness. I got medium as far as my heat level, um, low, medium to high. I am not feeling frisky enough for high today, so medium, medium it is. So I can already see there's nice big chunks of chicken, zucchini, onion, uh, carrots. I uh, definitely could see the spice, so we'll see how medium is. Just dig in. Not too spicy. A little bit of sweetness to it. A little bit. The chicken's cooked really well. The vegetables are definitely cooked. This is a nice blend. This is really good. I need to just stir it all together to get the rice involved. Because these all need to play together on my plate. Is that how you do it? Do you mix your rice and your, and your meats together? Anyway, going in for another bite back from Barry White over there. <laughs> what is Darren's deep voice today? That's pretty funny. Um, but I got the K2 pork bulgogi. And so it's got pork in here 
It's got cabbage, carrots, zucchini, spices. I did go with the medium hot because I wasn't ready today for the super hot spicy stuff. So I went with the medium spice. We're gonna see how this tastes. It's still steaming. Look at that, it's good stuff. Right off the meat is cooked perfectly. The pork is still juicy. Um, it's got a good texture to it. Uh, the, the carrots and the cabbage and everything um, really brings a nice crunch to the dish. Uh, the seasoning is really good and, and maybe I should have gotten hot or maybe I just need to keep eating because um, nothing's hitting me yet. I do taste a little bit of spice on the back of the tongue, a little bit down the throat, but it's not unbearable by any means. Um, but tastes good. It's not too sweet. It's more uh, a little savory than it is sweet, so I like that. That's good. I'm ready to just mix it all up in here like Darren was talking about and go to town. So something I can appreciate as a photographer is pictures. I love seeing pictures. And one of the unique aspects about this place is this place is wall to wall with these little snapshots of customers. And so we asked her, what's the story behind these photos? They opened 28 years ago and these photos are at least, they date back 20 years. 20 years of all these little snapshots. She, take, she took, she said during the slow time, um, of her clients and it wraps around this whole place. I love that. Always print your photos. <laughs> so I really enjoyed this place. The dish that I got was great. The Korean egg roll was good. The regular egg roll, just regular egg roll, but it was still good. Um, kimchi, I don't know, Darren. Come on. I don't know, Darren. It's so good. I'm not a huge fan, but maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it's like an acquired taste that you have to have, like with, you know, beer or whatever else. I'm telling you, I've been a fan uh, ever since my roommate, uh, back in the Heroes days, he would bring a jar of this home from here. That's from this place. From this place. Man of walk. Yes. And so I've been a fan of kimchi. I've had kimchi all over Wichita. I think this is one of the best, personally myself. Let us know if you like kimchi, if you're thumbs up, thumbs down on it. And uh, yeah, we'd love to hear what you think about it. Yeah. Cool. As always, I'm Troy. And I'm Darren. And we're reminding you to live local. See you next See you. time. So I got the number 18, K18. So today I got the K18 dish. It's the chicken bulgo key. Um, Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah!